hello dear students welcome back to my second tutorial class on ms access i believe you all are doing fine and safe well amid this covid 19 pandemic we are very fortunate to have this technology today in our hand so that at least we can reach you out through this means so i request every one of you to watch this video till the end so that at least you will learn something amid this uh, pandemic I also request you to watch my first uh, tutorial on MS Access so that uh, uh, you will learn step by step process on how to build a database using MS Access. Actually I prepared this uh, class for uh, class 10 students in page number 76 you can refer class 10 students but class 8 students can also uh, refer this uh, uh, this video because class 8 students you will find these uh, lessons in chapter 4 in chapter 4 you have this lesson so this is helpful for uh, class 8 students also as well class 8 students uh, you can uh, go to my first tutorial on MS access there I have explained how to start uh, how to start MS access step by step process is there so you will understand uh, if you watch my previous the first uh, tutorial so I request class 8 students to watch my first tutorial of course it is knowing the fact that there are so many issues regarding online classes like the most is the network connectivity nowadays the network connectivity is very worst and in some in in one family in one family uh, maybe some of you might have uh, three four brothers and sisters studying all together and it is difficult to have the smartphones all of you in a one family it's a difficult job for the parents as well so knowing all these facts uh, nevertheless uh, you can just manage your time uh, table you can manage your timetable find out a suitable time when the network connectivity is good enough that time you can please uh, watch this video for your benefits as well so i request uh, class 10 and 9 please you watch my first uh, tutorial and then this tutorial second tutorial as well so without any further detail de de uh, delay uh, let me begin with the lessons forms queries and reports in ms access what it means okay the first one forms what are forms here forms are designed to ease the data entry process okay for example you can create a data entry form that looks exactly like a paper form that looks exactly like a paper form i've just taken a one example using the paper form here why i've taken a use uh, using a paper form here to make it very clear that i believe you all of you have filled up uh, application forms right admission forms new admission forms or say example uh, applying for a bank account to apply for a bank account to open a bank account we need to fill up the form right or say example to to apply for scholarship say example to apply for scholarship uh, we need to fill up the paper form right or for any purpose for any other purpose whatever we are applying to the company okay we need to uh, we need to fill up the form so uh, in the paper forms so likewise here we create a form to enter data in a database all right so people generally prefer to enter data in, uh, into a well designed form rather than a table so rather than a table we prefer to enter database in a form in an electronic form that is database form access database form this is all about forms so i hope it's clear to you let us go back to the second one this, this is the queries okay what is it queries Queries are basically informations about the data in a database. This it means queries are questions. Queries are basically a questions about the data in a database. A query consists of specification including which fields, records, and summaries you want to see from a database. Okay, queries allow you to extract database data based on the criteria you defined. 
In simple terms, as I said, queries means to ask information about the data in a database. Say example, we have created a large database of employees, say example. So in the employee database, we have uh, so many fields, like say example, field ID, employee ID, okay, employee name, employee basic salary, em employee basic uh, uh, DA, uh, HRA, all, all these other allowance, okay, net pay, total pay, all these are included in uh, employee salary, uh, in, in employee database likewise in students database also say example we have students uh, name class date of birth section roll number father's name mother's name address contact number all details are there you know for student database so instead of getting all these informations we can extract data we can get selective okay we can uh, selective fields we can just selective fields and we can get the informations from that so in that case queries are helpful queries helps us to do so so to extract the database okay from uh, to extract the database we need queries okay queries helps us to extract database from the from the criteria that we defined so in that case queries helps us so i think it is clear to you now okay let us go back to the next one that is the report say example what is this report report is an effective way to present your data in a printed form here i'm just marking this one in a printed form you can control the size and appearance of anything of everything everything on a report a report is not just a listing of multiple data records anytime you need to send ms access uh, data to printer you must create a report you must create a report that is uh, this one okay what is it report is an effective way to present your data in a pr printed form Say example, we have created a student database. Now we want to take a print out of that student database. So in that case, report help us to do so, to print out from the printer, okay? So here it is very clearly mentioned here, anytime you need to send MS Access data to printer, to printer, you must create a report. See, it is very clear here, we must create a report in order to take a print out after creating database right so after creating database we need to take a printout hard copy we need hard copy so in that case report helps us to do so report uh, helps us to do our job okay so re report is a must we must create a report that is all about report i think it is clear to you now Let, let's move to the next exercise setting and removing primary key Okay, what is this setting and removing primary key? Page number 91 and 93, you will find this one. Uh, in class 8 exercises, this uh, setting, removing primary key is not included, but I request class 8 students also to watch this video for your benefit. When you go to class 10, when you reach class 10, this will be helpful for you. From now on, if you uh, try to learn, okay, so class 8 is a special request for you. Okay, let's go back. What are the benefits of setting a primary key? These are the benefits. It's very clear here. These are the benefits or these are the advantages of setting primary key. The first advantage, access automatically creates an index for the primary key. It's automatically create uh, index for primary key. Then access makes sure that every, every record has a unique value in the primary key field. Okay, access checks every unique uh, every value in the primary key field and number three is access make sure that every value in the field is unique so all these are uh, benefits advantages i request uh, the students to write to copy down these uh, points what are the advantages of setting a primary key what are the benefits of setting a primary key so you can answer it this question so in that case okay uh, I'll be explaining you in the practical also as well, uh, this benefits. Okay, next exercise, remove, remove the primary key. Say example, in case after you uh, plan out to remove, say example, after setting the primary key, you decided to remove it. So in that case, how you can do it? You can do it following these steps. You can do it following these steps. There are four steps here. 
so just follow these four steps and you can be able to remove the primary key that has been set okay so that's all uh, and then next change set or change the primary key you'll find this one also in page number 92 how to set how to set uh, there are certain steps here also as well so you can also note it down the steps in your notebook there are certain steps or uh, 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 to set or change the primary key okay so this one also you can note it down I'll be explaining you and all these uh, steps step by step process how to do it these things in the uh, in the next in the in my in the practical okay so this also then okay next is the applying applying primary key on more than two fields say example you uh, decided to apply how to apply the primary key for two fields more than two uh, two fields yeah so in that case you need to apply these steps procedures so to how to apply the primary key for more than two fields okay so i hope this is clear to you now we will go back to to the lessons of the practical here okay this is the ms access window in this window uh, i'll be explaining you explaining you uh, practically how to do it now here whatever we have learned uh, those forms queries reports setting up primary key removing primary key okay applying uh, primary key for two fields okay let's go step by step process class eight students you may be confused of these things so that is why i'm just repeating again and again class eight students please watch my first video uh, in my first video i have explained how to start the ms access step by step process is there so when you uh, if you watch that my previous uh, video you will be able to uh, catch up with these ones okay so class eight students is a special request okay now see we have created this uh, database okay according to the fields that we have selected i i believe you all remembered the fields that we have done is the student id student id student named role number class section section date of birth and father's name these are the field field name that we have created in our previous video and accordingly we have entered this data i have entered 16 uh, 16 data okay 16 data of all the students the particulars details now let us learn how to create a uh, uh, forms now the forms what are forms we have learned how to create now just click uh, click this if you can see this mouse pointer just look at this mouse pointer and uh, click the create and then create and after that just click this form design okay just click the form design like this uh, not a form design sorry not form design click uh, create and just click click the form wizard okay uh, no no not form wizard form here sorry form i'm just confused with this one form here okay I, I hope you can see here this form so just click the form this form okay form click the form and now this is the form this is the form now you cannot enter here anything okay as you type here nothing is happening see i'm pressing the keyboard okay i'm pressing from the keyboard nothing will happen this is the form design only now layout of the forms uh, layout only so from here you can just uh, point it like this the mouse pointer turns into uh, something uh, this uh, like an arrow and then you can drag and mouse something like this the size of the form so this size is suitable for us okay just keep as it is form and after that we need to save it this save button is there just click the save and form name now this save as form name now we can give a form name say example student form okay student form and click ok now as you click ok this student form is created see now you can close it this one okay i'm just zoom this this part yeah x close button is there x so just need to close it this one see not this one okay if you click this uh close this is to close the window to close to exit the window so not this close but this one this close i mean to close 
this one to click this one this part okay to click this part not this part yeah so make sure of that one also just click this part close form is closed now we can uh, open this form is just now we have created open the form double click the form and this form is appeared now see now you, we can enter the form now we can enter the form i'm pressing the keyboard okay so just let us uh, enter one new record just click this new record can you see this blank new record field just see this part okay i'm just yeah this one this part yeah so now just click this one new id this is primary key id so student name just we need to create a student name say example student name say example peter okay roll number say example uh, roll number two say example class is automatically there i did not type but automatically why you you have remembered we use default value right default value we have applied class 10 in the default value that is why it is automatically appearing now there's the section also we don't need to type out just click the sec uh, button here small button section is also appearing why it is appearing because we applied in the lookup wizard three values we entered in the lookup wizard so accordingly you click the section and date of birth also okay say example four one four one is january okay yeah we entered in that way four is the debt uh, i'm just zoom i'll just make it zoom okay four is the debt and the one january and then 2000 uh 2500 2500 the date of birth now as i press enter key this is changed why this change see four january 2005 it is changed because we applied in the date of birth format if you can remember long format we applied long format date of birth is long format right okay now father's name okay father's names also just we can give one father's name say example uh father's name uh, jack okay jack jackie okay we will we'll just put it father's name like this okay so this is how we have created i mean we have entered a one data one record we have entered a one record and the record is displaying now here 18 so 18 records we have uh, not 18 18 is going to enter now 18 is going to enter now but we have entered 17 record so we have now as of now we have entered 17 record just now i have entered one record so total records is 17 so this is how we can create the form now going back to the next one that is query what is the queries so query we have learned it is uh, information to ask informations to ask questions from the data base so we have the available fields are this one <coughs> these are the available fields id student named role number class section date of birth and father's name these are the available fields now queries when we work on the queries say example we don't want all to display these particulars we want only uh, id <coughs> okay id student named then we need only the date of birth now the other the other race one we don't need we don't want to uh, get it so in that case we go to the create and query we go to the query so this query design is here just click the query design table one <coughs> we can see here table one just click at at and then close it and now from this field these are the fields just uh, we can just make it bigger yeah these are the fields id as i said we need id just double click id student name double click and what i said date of birth or any or which one we want say example yeah date of birth okay date of birth so three we have created uh, we have selected three fields that is i'm just i'll just zoom it yeah this part id i uh, id right id we have selected this tree here, yeah, right? Right. ID, student named, and date of birth. We want these fields only to get the information in the query. So in, in that way, we create, we do it like this, and we after that create uh click the run. Run button is here. You can see I'll just zoom it. Run. Okay, run. As you can see the run, so I'll just run and then see three only what we are this what is displaying here id uh, id student named and date of birth only three fields are available and accordingly all this data are displaying here according to our needs according to our needs and this is query so we need to save it click the save button and query name what query name we can give say example student q u e r y query student query 
okay this also created now this also just close it this form also okay this see query is created query is created we have worked with the forms we have worked with the queries right i'll just zoom it again right this one we have worked with the forms we have worked with the queries now the last the last one is what is that the report we are going to work with the report now after this we need the printout as i said report is meant for printing right to take a printout we need to create a printout from this query okay we need to create a uh, report to, for printing so in that way in that case click create again and then report as you can see here report okay let us go i'll explain you from the wizard report wizard okay click this report wizard these are the available fields now here also we can select uh according to our needs what are the needs that we need to print out accordingly we can print out that one also or else we can print all this one also so let us check one by one one after another say example we want to print only the id that is id is unique and name uh, sorry not this one uh, id then after that uh, just click this uh, name okay name also we'll just do it date of birth just click or say example father's name say example father's name this time father's name only this trees we are selecting only this tree okay you just check this one only this tree we are selecting only this this tree only this tree we are selecting only this tree send after that click next next just next next and finished and see A student ID student id student id student name and father's name only three are displayed so now it is ready for printing it is ready for printing got it report this is the report say example if we want all the fields to print out in all the fields to print out so in that case what we will do in that case what we will do report wizard we need all to print out all this information to be included in uh, for printing so in that case just select all this one all this one are selected all the fields are selected click next 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 then finished now all these are added okay all these are available id student name roll number class section date of birth and father's name all these are available for printing now why this date of birth uh, is appearing like this it is because we can just change the uh, column width that is we can change the column width so in that case just click the uh, where is that report uh, just will just save this report okay uh, just uh, save it okay uh, okay just well just close it uh, student queries report uh, yeah report two reports tables are there okay this is the one report and then the another report is this one okay so for this just right click and then right click after right click design view okay design view then date of birth you just click this date of birth date of birth also this field we just we just need to adjust the field this one like this just adjust the field like this and just save it okay save it and open the design view now it is okay right date of date of birth is displaying correctly but still it is not okay we need to adjust it again this column right so in order to do, do it that one just right click design view then just go to the here from here we can just do it like this uh, we can just uh, right click and then just adjust it i mean to adjust the column width that is just this one also uh, just this one also like this okay uh, that uh, section is here section we can just uh, go it here here and that of birth now i think it's okay okay save it yeah now it's okay fine right so see all these available fields that we have selected id student name uh, roll number class section date of birth father's name all these are available for printing now this is how we can create forms queries and reports now to setting up the primary key and removing the primary key how we can do it that one so in order to do it this one 
did that one we need to go to the this table one uh, design view okay design view see this is the primary key okay already this primary key is set up now if we want another primary key if we want to build another primary key so what i said hold down the uh, click this one click this one i mean click this one hold down the control key holding the control key which field you want to make the primary key again say example roll number like this point it like this click it click it this one two are selected primary key click the primary key and now you see two uh, symbol of primary key are displaying i'll just zoom in let you see yeah see see these two primary key id is displaying see one is primary key id and another one roll number just now we have created primary key so two primary key we have created in a table okay so in this way we can create now how to remove the primary key say example after creating this how to remove it how to remove just uh, to how to remove just click uh, this field like this and just simply click primary key now this is gone this is gone okay so in this way we can remove the primary key from our table so this one we should have the primary key so we can just click this one and primary key so th that is how we can setting up the primary key and removing up the primary key and just after that just click it save and this is how we can work out with the form this is uh, it's already opened this one we need to close yeah this is form okay form you can enter we can enter the record in the form this is form layout okay and then what is this this is query okay query of only three fields student name id student name date of birth and then another report is with the all this report for printing another query another report i mean so this is how we can work with the ms access i believe uh, this uh, tutorial will be uh, helpful for all of you so till then bye and in my next tutorial i'll be explaining you how to create one more table a different table since we have created one table this is one table we have already created this is table we have created uh, we will create another table one more table we will create and then that table and this table existing current table we will i will explain you how to make a relationship of two tables relationships using the primary key so till then bye as of now and take care till then okay thank you thank you for watching the video thank you so much okay Thank you.